Hey there, it's Mike from Badger Paddles here at Swift Outdoor Centre where they always have a good selection of Badger Paddles. It was a good place to do this video because they had one of every blade shape that I wanted to show. So um, just a kind of a quick um, blade shape, like why would I go with a sliver or why would I go with a, a woodland or what's the difference between a beaver tail and an otter tail. So um, I've kind of divided things up here and technically these are called beaver tails and technically these are called otter tails. And what makes a beaver tail a beaver tail is that it is wider at the bottom of the paddle. So it's narrower up at the top and the shoulders and it's wider at the bottom. So these are both fall in that description, although they're very different paddles. And what makes an otter tail an otter tail, and this is the most traditional otter tail of them, the tripper, is it's got its widest point up in the top quarter of the paddle basically and it gets narrower at the bottom so why would I want one of those well um, for a beaver tail the advantages are say I get in like six eight inches of water and I can't pull the whole blade through the water there's quite a bit of surface area down here so it's versatile it's also powerful out of all these paddles this is the paddle that moves the most water um, yes, it is a little bigger in surface area, but also because of where the, the volume of the, of, the water, of the blade is displaced, you're way out the end of your lever, you're going to move a lot more water. And, and for me, um, I'm always talking about my wimpy shoulders, but for me, this is a little more paddle than I want to pull through the water every single time. So if you really like to get good purchase and really move and move a lot of water, the Badger Tail, we're Badger Paddles, but it's, it's, it's a traditional beaver tail, but we call it the badger tail. And then a bonga is another version of that. Um, say you're paddling in rivers or shallow water a lot of the time. It's just a wider, uh, shorter bladed paddle um, to accommodate rivers. It's also a great pack boat paddle. It's also a really good spare paddle. So otter tail, which is the most popular, the tripper is our most popular paddle, um, still has a lot of surface area. They're always a little quieter going into the water because they're finer in the tip, so they enter the water a little more quietly. And then the idea be behind an otter tail, technically, so you put your blade in the water, it goes in quietly, and by the time you're in the middle, really effective part of your stroke is when the widest part of the, of the blade is in the water. So it doesn't load your shoulders quite as badly. Like when you take a stroke with an otter, with a beaver tail paddle, you really feel it in your shoulders. It's a little more gradual load on your shoulders on an otter tail paddle. So that's what I really like about otter tails is that they're quiet and less load on your shoulders. Um, this is a sliver here, which is actually the paddle that I do most of my paddling with. So it is even a little smoother, a little less load than a, than a tripper is. Um, and it and it's still, because it's a long blade, it still moves plenty of water. So, you know, it, people ask about going too skinny on the blade. I'd much rather go too skinny and then increase the cadence of my stroke when I want to go faster than have a big wide blade that I have no choice but to pull through the water every time I take a stroke. Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather have the option of being a little lower impact on my shoulders. Uh, just to show you a difference, so these look like the same paddle. This is called a feather and the blade ends up here where on the sliver it ends down here. They are essentially the same paddle other than that. This is a good all round paddling paddle that does well with solo. This is basically a paddle that is designed for underwater recovery sort of style paddling where you're doing a lot of maneuvering where you don't take the blade out of the water. Big long blade for lots of control for doing maneuvers basically. And then this paddle is called the Woodland and it's kind of, if you look at it, it's like similar to the top of a tripper and the bottom of a sliver. So a bit of the best of both worlds. Um, a little quieter going into the water than a, than a tripper, a little more volume than a sliver. So just again, a really nice all round quiet otter tail paddle. So that's the difference between beaver tails and otter tails.